क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ न्यू टॉपिक ऑफ स्टेट स्पेशल एनालिसिस एंड इट इज सॉल्यूशन ऑफ स्टेट इक्वेशन एंड द रिस्पांस ऑफ कंटीन्यूअस टाइम सिस्टम इन लैपलास डोमेन जस्ट बिफोर वी हैव डिराइव्ड द सेम थिंग बट इन टाइम डोमेन इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डन दिस थिंग नाउ बट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिराइव इट इन लैपलास डोमेन सो लेट्स सी हाउ टू प्रोसीड we will always start with a state equation so my state equation is q dot of t is equals to a into q of t plus b x of t now i will apply laplace transform on both the sides so laplace transform first order differentiation of q of t is s q of s minus q not where my q0 is my initial condition vector on the right hand side a and b both are constants and laplace transform while calculating laplace transform we will write a and b outside and q of t laplace transform is q of s and x of t laplace transform is x of s i'll shift this q of s on left hand side and i'll shift this q not on right hand side from these two parts or from left hand side we can take q of s common but listen this q of s value is replaced by one where my q of s is the matrix so if i take q of s common then in whole matrix we will have only one and this type of matrix is referred as a identity or unity matrix because the determinant of this such type of matrix is always one now look at here from the left hand side we can take q of s common so what is remaining if i take q of s common then this place is replaced by one basically q of s is nothing but state vector matrix and if i take q of s common then the whole value is replaced by one and we know that there is one matrix which gives us a determinant value one and that matrix is nothing but my unity matrix or identity matrix so we'll replace this s into one that is this one is replaced by i so we'll write si now i'll shift this si minus a on right hand side or simply you can say that just multiply both the sides or simply you can say that just multiply both the sides by si minus a the whole inverse so on both the side that is q not and b x of s multiplied by si minus a the whole inverse this is the equation we can say that right now it is in laplace domain so this whole q of s is nothing but my state matrix or state vector and this q of s equation gives us a value of a state equation matrix and the response in laplace domain but of continuous time system if i want to obtain the state equation in time domain then we can apply laplace inverse on both the sides so let's say this is my equation number 1 and now i'm going to obtain this whole equation but in time domain so what i'm going to do i will apply laplace inverse but on both the sides so let's say inverse laplace transform so inverse laplace transform of q of s is nothing but a q of t or simply we'll write uh, 
the laplace inverse of q of s is q of t and we will use a linearity property so that we can apply laplace transform on both the sides separately and we know that inverse laplace transform of q of s can be represented into q of t and using linearity property as i said we will apply laplace inverse on both the sides separately This whole equation is nothing but the response or the solution just due to initial conditions and this solution is obtained just because of input condition that is due to input state vector matrix. this whole equation is transformed into a time domain now look at here i am going to compare my equation number 2 which is the solution of state equation but in laplace domain that we have calculated or transformed into time domain now this is the response but in time domain and we have calculated one more response in time domain which is integration 0 t e to the power a t minus tau b x of tau d tau now just compare both this equation what i can say that after comparing these two sides my a to the power a t is nothing but Laplace inverse of si minus a the whole inverse this part I am going to compare with this one this delay is added These two parts are I am going to compare that's why I have written e to the power a t is equal to Laplace transform si minus a the whole inverse and this is nothing but my state transition so this is our definition which is transformed into laplace domain and then later on we have derived in prime domain now thank you for watching this video stay tuned to ekda and subscribe to ekda for further more videos thank you so much